Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android 11 stable on our Redmi Note 10 Pro. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this is Pixel 2 Android 11 stable port on our Redmi Note 10 Pro. Let's go into about phone. As you can see, Android version here. It says Android version 11, obviously. Security update is September 5. And we get the Hydra Plus kernel here in built. So guys, this is the official Android 11 stable release and yes, right away experiencing on our Redmi Note 10 Pro. So if you have watched my previous videos on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, I have shown you the Android 11 beta 2 uh, installation thing. And I skipped the beta 3 thing because not much to show and I already have shown it on my Redmi Note 5 Pro. So it was just an, you know, not a good thing to you know, just repeat the same stuff again. But yeah, here is the installation and a short thing about like I have already explained the features so no need to see I will just explain the working and non-working stuff and will then finally move to the installation right away. So guys about the working stuff in this ROM everything works fine which includes Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, mobile data, GPS, VOLT and all the basic stuff is working totally fine you can like totally use it as your daily driver but there is one thing like if you use that uh, feature which is the hotspot yes if you share your hotspot to your friends or you share it via pc uh, i don't know if usb tethering is working but it should i guess usb mt is working fine so usb tethering should also work but yeah hotspot uh, this one is not working i haven't tried usb tethering but you can also try that hotspot not working because we need our vendor for that and developer has promised like he will get the r vendor soon and he will fix it i thought it will be fixed in this one but no it's not but it's okay like developer has already uh, done a really nice amount of work on this one the port which is i guess a pixel 4 xl port i'm not sure or the pixel 2 but it is really amazing like everything is working fine also you can see i can use gcam this is a 7.4 gcam uh, with this, uh, you know, uh, this Arnova GCam uh, Beta Focus uh, uh, XML, uh, the configuration, and it works totally fine. So, yep, uh, that's it uh, for the working and non working stuff. Other bugs include the Android 11 minor bugs, uh, which are like already always present with, you know, uh, uh, with every Google release. So, yeah, they will be fixed in three uh, two, three months, and like, yeah, we just will be keeping getting ROMs and all that stuff. So, we will just ignore this port like every time so yep uh, that is it uh, now let's move to the installation which is the main part so yeah let's move to the installation and for that you have to power up your device and just push it into recovery mode using the volume up and the power button we don't have the advanced power menu because it's not a custom ROM so yeah just doing this stuff so let's do it now guys if you are using the MIUS talk ROM then you have to format data also, I don't know if encryption works. I am decrypted and it boots fine for me without any extra zips. So if you are encrypted, just, you know, you have to back up your data, the internal storage and format it like, yeah, if you want to like literally experience, but yeah, if you're waiting for custom norms, then it's your choice. But yeah, if you want to experience this, back up your internal storage, format the data, which will wipe your internal storage and then you can just copy your data back and flash this ROM, like just be decrypted and maybe also, if you are in Hentai OS, uh, which is like Dynative's ROMs and it uses the wrap key encryption, if you are on any of these ROMs, uh, it may not boot. So just flash talk and do the format data stuff, then it should work. Uh, yeah, it uses a different kind of encryption. That's why that issue is there. But yeah, never mind. First step is always wipe. Uh, I'm assuming you are uh, decrypted. Uh, Sparking recovery, you know, it. Uh, the touch sucks in this recovery also same on wired it's not device or something oh, sorry about that vendor data cursed oh shit i'm selecting the wrong partitions okay these are the partitions to select and just wipe go to install and i uh, hope it's here okay here it is android 11 september patch so flash this add more zips and if you want magisk uh, you have to flash the magic scannery which works for Android 11. So let this uh, installation thing finished. Installation is successful. Now we can just reboot system, set up the ROM and enjoy Android 11 stable except hotspot on your Redmi Note 10 Pro. So yep, that's it. Uh, and if you guys like this video, press the oops. 
press F for my Redmi Note 7 Pro first. Okay, now press the like button and also the dislike button. Also subscribe uh, my channel, obviously, my channel. And bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.